Presented by Campbell's Chunky. Well, in limited appearances, Beast Mode delivered on Sunday for Seattle. Here's his five-yard touchdown run. He had six carries for seven yards and this one score and also had a catch. Here's Marshawn Lynch entertaining us all. What do you do before Green Bay next week? Uh, work out. Thank you. I appreciate it. And believe it or not, that was uh, Marshawn Lynch being verbose, yeah, ladies and well, gentlemen. Well, that, that's an effusive word salad from good. the Seahawks yeah, yeah. running back <laughs> as they get set uh, to take on uh, the Green Bay Packers. Meanwhile, Seahawks head coach Pete Carroll now at the podium talking about the win and what plans are ahead. Of course, yeah, you get to advance and you're talking about surviving. You know, we're, just, we're just fired up to have another chance to keep playing football and keep pushing it uh, and see how far we can go. Um, this was a really good night for us, uh, taking the opportunity of, you know, the quarterback got banged up, and, and so they, they bring in Josh, and you know, he's a, obviously a seasoned vet. You can see that he had, he had some really good plays in them tonight, and uh, um, we were able to take advantage of, you know, some stuff there, and so we played a really nice night on defense overall. They moved the ball pretty good at the times, but we kept them out of the end zone, which was really, really key, and without getting any turnovers, it was a, it was a, a challenge. So I was really, really fired up about the D. A um, bunch of sacks again here, and... Uh, uh, and really great red zone defense uh, made, made a big difference. The, I think the whole football game uh, was really the third downs. Um, we did great on third down uh, on offense and, and had a big night on defense. And this was this was a really highly ranked third down offense and defense from Philadelphia. So take a lot of pride in that. And they're four, ranked fourth or something in both. So that's a good deal for us to get that done. And really that's what kept us going. And the big conversions, big, big plays by Russ. Our Russ was spectacular tonight uh, in, in, in moving around and finding guys when we really needed in crucial situations. But I think the night was was stolen by DK. Uh, I mean, he just had a phenomenal night. Um, showed you, you know, what what he's capable of looking like. He's had a great season um, in his rookie year, but to have a night like that and first first chance ever in the playoffs, that was spectacular. And uh, and he did some stuff that he, it's hard to imagine anybody else doing. And uh, so we're really excited about that. And uh, so fantastic night for us uh, to get this thing going on the road. Um, we're pretty confident about going. I know we're going to Green Bay, and we're looking forward to getting organized to do that. Yeah, we really have found a rhythm uh, throughout the season, and uh, we had a lot of momentum. We had one, you know, one mistake down you know, late in the season when we didn't get it done, and uh, but other than that, we've been all we found the way to play and the way to uh, play together, uh, regardless of the setting and the fans and all of the, the difficult environments that you're in, weather and whatever. Um, these guys have really found it, and it's really exciting to see. I, I don't know how you know it's just one week at a time, but uh, there's a real confidence about us. We, we, we don't care where we're playing. Yeah, he, I thought he's, you know, his running was, was spectacular when, when we got it from him. His movement was great. He had, There's three or four big plays that he made on the move, you know, creating space for the guys uh, to, to get open and our guys finishing on the routes. That was that was really beautiful football, and, and uh, that's what Russ gives you. You know, he gives you those extra shots, and, and he found them tonight and came through with some great passes. The juice that Lynch and Metcalf on those yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was third and one, and, and, and uh, he Pete catches Carroll alluding to the, the third down the Seahawks were 8 of 15. The Eagles were only 3 of 11. Their journey continues. They go to Green Bay for the divisional round. Season is over for Doug Peterson and the Eagles. Let's listen in on what the coach has to say. No, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm worried about coaching the team and, and trying to win the game. What changed with the offense and Michael Carson? A little bit. We, we eliminated some of the motions. We just kind of got back to some of the core plays, some of the things that Josh was comfortable with in the run game and the pass game. Um, and, and just, uh, you know, we, we did some good things. We just uh, kind of stalled out in the red zone a little bit tonight and um, had opportunities, you know. Um, but uh, just got back to some of the core stuff with Josh. Just uh, for me, it's about just how how resilient our team is, and, and giving ourselves an opportunity like like that to be you know to be down one score 
uh, against a really good football team in, in a playoff game. And, you know, it's just um, it's remarkable for me to, to see our guys battle, how the defense kept us in this football game, you know, and, and um, offense, you know, um, move the ball but just we just you know failed to, to score but uh, to still be within a within a within a, a, a score of you know at least uh, in a two-point conversion to tie the game just shows a lot of uh, you know character and resiliency of this of this team Doug, I'm sure you're disappointed for everybody in that room but Carson in particular four years and it lasts eight plays in the postseason I mean, that's, that's an awfully disappointing uh, blow for him yes and, and how would you feel? I feel for him. I feel bad for him. I mean, I'm sorry, have you spoken to him? I mean, what, what, I just I just briefly saw him in the in the dressing room after the game. Well, how is he? What do you need to learn? How is he responding? We're probably not going to talk. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, uh, you know, I'll let him I'll let him speak for it, but um, I'm disappointed, you know, for him, you know, because I wanted this for him, you know, obviously, and I think a lot of a lot of his teammates did too, and the team, the organization did. I mean, he needs. He's battled through a lot, and and uh, but um, we'll learn from it. We'll move on. You were expected that this is a different game. Or I don't know. It's hard to say. I I would say I would say yes. You know, if he's healthy. You know, with the game plan that we had, I I, I think so. Um, but you know, it's hard to speculate. What was the mechanism for getting? It didn't come out right away. What was the? Did you get a call from upstairs? No, I just had uh, Joe Pella, one of my trainers, came up and said they were just going to evaluate Carson, and uh, you know, defense was on the field, and that was that was it. And then, you know, they came to me later on and said that they were going to, you know, uh, take him into the locker room and evaluate him further. So was the spotter, the independent NFL spotter, that told you? I, I don't know all of that. I mean, it was just I just know because I'm in the game, I'm coaching the football game, so. You know, uh, I just have the trainers are communicating with me, and they just said they're just they're just evaluating Carson at the time. On the uh, fourth, the second to last fourth down in the fourth quarter, did you consider kicking field goal there, or were you thinking you needed uh, touchdown runs? I was, but I was I was also maintaining, trying to maintain the aggressiveness there, try to get the first down and stay on the field and score. Third down. I do love some of the honesty you hear from coaches at the time. Someone asked him if he felt bad for Carson Wentz, and he said, "Yes." Like, what else is he going to say? Yeah. And then someone else wants something else. Oh, I was busy coaching the game at that time, <laughs> so I could busy. not see it. Yeah. Uh, real quickly, though, this is the sixth playoff game they've had since 2017. It's the only one that Carson Wentz was able to play in, and he goes out injured again. It's, it's very unfortunate, uh, but it, it is something that just continues to sort of present itself. It does. Um, some of these things are fluky. Yeah, I mean, guy tears his ACL diving into the end zone against the Rams, and so his backup takes over, and then they get hot. You know, he's trying to scramble tonight for a first down, and, you know, his head gets hit from behind, and his head slams into the ground. I, I just – look, I – Sometimes you're just unlucky. It's unfortunate. You know, it just you, you just get an unlucky break, and it, it happens to people. I don't think it means that you're injury prone or you're not. I just think that sometimes you're unlucky. Yeah, I think this is definitely different, different from some of the other injuries. You know, you look at an ACL or a back and some of those things, and those are long-term effects. It's, it's quite possible that if the Philadelphia Eagles are playing next week, Carson Wentz is on the field. This isn't one of those injury concerns. It's kind of like fluky, a football thing. I think the difficult part, part for Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles is it's a playoff game. Yeah, you yeah. don't get next week if you don't win. And, and, John, listen, we talked a lot about the Eagles being beat up. <clears throat> Seahawks were pretty beat up, too, here. No Chris Carson, no C.J. Procise, no Dwayne Brown. They found a way to come away with a win under pretty tough circumstances. No doubt. And you look at the trip from Seattle, about as far on the planet as you can get away from <laughs> Philadelphia. <laughs> Until they uh, put a team in London. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, it's remarkable. You know, you look at uh, the record of Pete Carroll, you know, and Russell Wilson, and you're second to Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. That's not bad. So this is a good football team. Pete's done a tremendous job. You know, they've, you know, they've struggled this season. I mean, they've had some ups and downs and, They've been really, really good on the road, and, you know, it's good that they are. To make that trip, and regardless of the circumstances, they find a way to win. You know, DK Metcalf coming on late in the year like this, I mean, he was a beast. You know, they got banged up at running back. They bring in Marshawn Lynch out of the living room, and he, he scores a touchdown. So, you know, that's good coaching, too. That's a well-coached uh, outfit and organization. Yeah. 
And they're going to need yeah, all of that as they have to go back to Seattle, then get ready to go to Green Bay in the divisional round next weekend.